In this first problem, suppose that a loan is repaid by means of a payment of 1,000 rand one month after the loan was granted. So the first important thing is, is to know when this first payment was made. The first payment was made of 1,000 rand one month after the loan was granted. And one further payment of 1,000 one month after the first payment and of 1,000 rand. Calculate the amount borrowed, the present value that is also called the present value of the loan. So how much money was borrowed? if he paid it back by two 1,000 rand installments. The interest rate is 6% per annum, compounded monthly again. So the payments are 1,000. One month after the loan was granted, for how long? There will be two payments, 6% per annum, compounded monthly. Let's quickly calculate this problem. You will agree that this problem is fairly easy. Reason for that is there are only two payments on this loan. So to discuss this problem, can we first of all draw the timeline? Always important that you do the timeline first. We've got T0 similar to our future value annuities, which is today. Then we have T1 and we have T2. Now, according to our question, 1,000 rand was paid one month after the loan was granted. The loan was granted here, let's say today. One month later, you've made your first payment. One month after that, you've made your second payment. So your monthly payments, 1,000 rand a month. Now, you will agree in... In further problems we're going to discuss, of course, there will not be two, two of them. It will be like a 20-year loan or a five-year loan. Now, this now, today, T0, that is where the present value is. So what basically going to happen is that we're going to, we're going to take this 1,000 Rand back here and that 1,000 Rand back here. Now, it may sound strange to you, but just remember what we did originally in future value. When we invested money, you will remember, I told you it's compound interest and we, that money grow. And it was compound interest and it grow. So now we do the opposite. We reverse that process. And it's going to go backwards. So we want to know what is this 1,000 Rand without interest. Because if you pay this 1,000 Rand payment to the bank, it's not only the loan that you repay, but you pay also interest on top of that loan. So this 1,000 Rand include your interest. What we want here, the present value, is the amount borrowed. So that is the amount without the interest. And that is what we want to calculate. Now, our formula for present value, and you will here that I put emphasis on the present value. So this formula is called P for present. What is that value at present? What is the loan amount? What is the amount the bank gave you to buy whatever you want to buy? And then you've made payments to pay it back, equal monthly payments. Now that present value formula is X bracket 1 minus 1 plus I to the minus N over I. So you can see that this formula is a little bit different to the, to the future value one. And then the main thing is that that exponent is minus N. And that minus N refers to that we are working backwards. So when you change a formula and you divide by something that has got an exponent, you agree it will be below the line. And when you take it up, what happens to the exponent? It becomes negative. And that is where the negative N is coming from. You are welcome to look within the Mind Action Series Grade 12 textbook in Chapter 3 where we discuss finance and there we, you will find the derivation of this formula so that where you can see where this formula is coming from. It is not for exam purposes. 
but for those of you who are interested to know a little bit more about financial mathematics, it's really, really exciting. Let's now take this formula and let's now calculate this present value or the loan, what the value of the loan granted. Let's have a look at that. So first of all, X represents my monthly payment, similar to what we did in the future value annuities. One plus my I, you will remember the interest rate was given to us as 6% per annum compounded monthly. So we need to divide by 100, which is 0 0.06. It's a monthly compounding. So that is over 12. And then my negative and that N, how many payments again? Similar to future value. How many payments? Very clear. Two payments. Over I, 0, 0,06 over 12. And there I've done, and what I left out, of course, was my final bracket there. Very important that you need to close that bracket. If we stop there, very common mistake. Very easy to leave out that final bracket when you do it on the calculator. Remember, you need to write down your formula in, in exams. Examiners expect you to write down because you need to decide. Your questions will not tell you that this is a present value or this is a future value. You must be able to identify them. You write down your formula. These formulas are given on the formula sheet. You do your substitution. You use your calculator and you find your answer. So let's calculate this question. Very similar to future value annuities. I'm going to start with my fraction button and then the 1,000 rand, bracket 1 minus, bracket 1 plus, the fraction 0 0.06, the denominator is 12, we move away, close that bracket, then raise it to the exponent, in this case negative 2, move away and very important to close that last bracket. Otherwise, you get an error on your calculator. Now, with our arrow key, we move down to the denominator, which is a fraction, 0 0.06 over the 12. And then my answer was, or well, at this point in time, is 1985,099379. If I put down all the decimals, we round it off to, to two decimals, and because it is a 9, that becomes a 10, so you will agree with me. That is basically 0 0.99 cents, which is very close to 10 cents. So 1,985 rand and 10 cents. Now, to understand this answer, you must remember this is the present value. So that was the original amount that you borrowed. The loan was granted, 1,985 rand. You paid back 2,000 rand. So if you take the 2,000 minus that, approximately 15 rand, that was the interest that you paid on this loan. So those you must agree or remember, they include the interest. Let's look at the next example. 